Good evening everyone, my name is Subete and welcome to the channel and today we'll be doing an unboxing of a uh, of course a booster box of uh, this booster right here uh, this booster is the Tri 3 next character booster the very first character booster that Bush Hugo uh, published and this booster supports the clans from the Tri 3 team which is you can see over here Chrono, Tokoha, Shion, Gear Chronicle, Royal Paladin and Neo Nectar so yeah uh, this was released in the early 2017 um, when Vanguard G next uh, first you know air or something I don't know and yeah a very cool looking box the very first character booster and yep over here you can see more details support skill chronicle royal paladin neo nectar um 12 packs per box two guaranteed foils the rest are commons and you can get three types of gls six types of triple rare 12 types of double rares 21 rares and 33 commons and you can also get uh three sgls and 12 types of SP in this set and looking over here you can see the the you know the, the big cards of the booster in Vreno crossover um, and this guy I forgot his name too bad because I don't play Royal Paladin uh, let's get into the box shall we as you can see right here we have our beloved CEO Amaterasu over here watching over us giving us the fortune that we can get from this set in hopes that we can get you know something good please bless us CEO Amaterasu from the very first BTO1 set of course a triple red we got this booklet right here telling you you know the sets the cards you, you, you get and there's tons of reprints in this set so it's always you know good uh you can you can see the deck list that bushiro has provided us this is the gear chronicle deck list that, that they recommend us to play this is rated three star and the royal paladin deck list three star and neo nectar deck list three star also courtesy of bushiro I won't be following this of course and let's start with the unpacking bless us CEO Amaterasu please the fortune smile upon us all right let's start with our first pack uh, do we get and no we do not get any critical points and uh, Let's see what we can get. We have a Gear Chronicle, um, Neo Nectar, Neo Nectar. This is the Musketeer. They do support Musketeer in this set, which is always a good thing. We got the Gear Cat. This Gear Cat is uh, very good against, not against, but it combos well with Hatchel Round because whenever you uh, return a unit an opening unit back to their own deck uh, you can choose one of your units and get 10k which of course you choose your vanguard and the only way to do that is to use hetero round because hetero round choose a opening rearguard and spin it back to the deck so yeah gear cat is pretty good with the combo you know we have mirubilu uh, mirubilu uh, brave plus 3k or something i think i forgot uh, we got Maiden of Sweetberry. Sweetberry is very good. Um, it's a free cost. It's, it's just good in a Machuka build. And for our rare, is the double rare, uh, Radion, I think that's his name. And this is for the Brave for Atmau build. A very nice double rare. Uh, skill is Continuous Brave GB2. This unit gets 3k uh, continuously. And uh, the rest of the skill is um, I don't really um, I don't think I can follow but 
yeah, I think you guys would know by now. I don't play very Paladin, so I don't know the skill of this guy. That's too bad. You can stand beside Amaterasu. Our next set of cards. Uh, no points. That's too bad. Uh, we have Maiden of something. She, uh, auto ability. When you call something, she no at the beginning of your uh, main phase, she choose a unit and she gets the name of that unit. So yeah, very nice uh, card. Uh, used to be a promo. Now she's reprinted as a common. So yeah. Uh, we have Hope Song Angel, reprinted as a common again for this set. Hope Song Angel skill is when this unit is placed onto the Vanguard or Rearguard circle, Corner Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, and search your deck for a Brave unit, I think, and call it to the Rearguard. So, yeah, a free, not, not really a free call, but an early game call for the early game pressure. Uh, we got Gear Chronicle. I don't really care too much of that. We got a new, um, uh, well, it's not really new now, but in this set, they give the new Forerunner for Musketeer. This is the blue baby's uh, blue eye Musketeer. Um, forgot the name. Uh, the skill is kind of plus one with Musketeer in the name. And pretty good to soul. You can look top. Uh, look top 4, call 1 musketeer to the rear guard circle and something happens, gets 3k. So yeah, very, really not bad. This is a nice alternative, a nice card for the musketeers. Uh, Gear Chronicle Heal Trigger, very beautiful, very nice, waifu material. Uh, we got the Maiden of Water Pistol. Um, used to be a promo I think. I'm not too sure but she's but all I know now she's being reprinted as a rare. Uh, her skill is when you call a unit to the rear guard circle, uh, she gains the name of the card that you just called. So not bad. And the next we get a triple rare Gear Chronicle. I do not know the skill. I do not play Gear Chronicle, that's too bad. I hope I I really wish I knew the skill, but nobody play this nowadays, which is meh. It's a Zodiac Time Beast, so yeah, you can see it beside Amaterasu. Okay, next set of cards from A Pack. We do not get a point, but that's not the point. The point is, we're here to get some cards. Uh, Greenshot Elf, reprinted as a common A game. Um, self-explanatory Tokoha use her every single time uh, before the Vanguard G next uh, bloom when 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 this unit blooms GB1 uh, all of your green shot choose up to five of your green shot elves and they get 2k and boost so yeah very nice good for blooming stuff gear chronicle I don't see people play this uh, we got uh, water pot elf, I think. Flow watering, watering elf. I think that's the name. Uh, she's been reprinted as a common again, but she got a new art. I I dig this art. I love this art. Uh, the skill is uh, egg ability. Put this unit into your soul. Choose one new nectar and get and that unit gets three k. Uh, standard put into your soul gets three k. Kind of stand. So yeah, I like this. Another one of the gear chronicles. We have uh, the critical trigger for Alfred. Uh, in this set, they support Alfred for the Royal Paladin, so that's a, that's cool. This un the skill is um, when your elf when your Alfred unit attacks. If when your great tree uh, unit with Alfred in this name attacks, you may put this guy into your soul and counter charge two. So yeah, it's a very nice um, counter charging card, but the downside is it must be a great tree Alfred uh, unit that's attacking. So when you strike onto some doing doing the turn that you strike, you can't use this skill. So yeah, something to take note of. Uh, we have Pulsar Peacock. Skill is he can't return back to the deck. 
so he stays there when you time leap so yeah and we have a uh, seal pansy uh, musketeer Th this guy this guy is very good the reason being is, is because when this unit when a musketeer unit is called gets 2k and if your and if your G unit uh, musketeer again it gets 4k so it is it's almost like Hossa you know where if you keep calling units uh, she keeps getting power so it's a very good card to have it's a it's a very staple card in the musketeer deck alrighty let's see oh we do have a point uh, one critical point always a good thing to have uh, let's go gear chronicle don't care too much avocado um, yeah yeah Royal Paladin, Forerunner, don't really care much about that. Mirubilu, uh, more Watering Elf, always a good thing to have. Time, time Break Dragon, if I'm not wrong, uh, you get to Time Leap this guy to something, I don't know. Don't really care too much about Gear Chronicle. And next we have uh, Great Tree Musketeer. Don't play this guy. Uh, this Great Tree is bad. Just play the um, Mialita instead. Mialita with probably the Legion or something. Alrighty, no point. What's the point? Um, we got this guy uh, on hit, counter plus one, and you may you may draw. That's it. Pretty common. Gear Chronicle, don't really care about care about that. Uh, brave, brave eagle or something. Um, Wild Paladin. Gear Chronicle Critical Trigger We have this girl, this girl is quite good She's kind of like Daybreak But for Warrior Paladin And instead of getting uh, Like 5Ks She gives them 3Ks So yeah, she, I think she got reprinted or something If I remember correctly uh, We got this guy um, I forgot the skill Yeah, I forgot the skill And next we have Alfred we have Alfred, um, Alfred Oath. Very, very nice. It's a, it's a very good card actually. Uh, not really good back then, but now it's like, hey, Alfred, man. Uh, people are looking for Alfred actually. Uh, this is Alfred in his uh, generation break form. And the skill is GB2. Uh, this unit gets 2k for every one of your rear guards. So if you have five rear guards, he gets 10k, just like that. Uh, play like the good old Alfred. Except the difference between the Kings of Night Alfred and Alfred Oath is that this guy can be boosted. The second skill is um, when this unit is placed onto the Vanguard Circle, counter plus one, so plus one, and this card, a uh, card if I'm not wrong, um, search your deck for up to two of any of the following which is Sentry of Light or Blaster and call them to separate rear guard circle so yeah so it's like counter blast one so blast one discard to call two of any two selection of Sentry of Light or Blaster but that's one of the downside because this is placed onto the Vanguard and that's about it but still it's a very nice card to have Alfred Oath people are looking for it and I'm glad to have it next we have a fruit basket um, dragon bloom this guy gets 8k simple uh, this cat counter plus one choose one unit gets boost that's about it um, that give on a good guy again we have blue baby blue eyes musketeer Gear Chronicle Crit, we have uh, Speed, whoa, 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 what's the name again? Upheaval Pegasus, yeah, Upheaval Pegasus. Upheaval Pegasus has been reprinted um, from double rare to a single rare, which is, yeah. But still, it's a Gear Chronicle Stride. I forgot the skill of Upheaval Pegasus. I don't see people play Upheaval Pegasus anymore. But anyways, we got uh, one of the Musketeer Strides uh, This is Miley's uh, 
my list skill is uh, Acability GB2, uh, Soul Plus One, and G Flip. Any Musketeer over. And I think I forgot the skill. Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. But still, uh, it's a musket. It's a new Musketeer stride, which is always a nice thing to have. A good additional to the Musketeers, uh, rather than just Cecilia. So yeah, now you have now for Musketeer players have two choices of Cecilia and Miley's, which is always a nice thing to have. Gotta move this box aside to make space for some more stuff. I wish I can um, get Searing Heart Asha. Yeah. Searing Heart Asha is like, you know. If I were to get Searing Heart Asha in this box, I would be more than happy. I'll be so content. No point here. Uh, stuff. A very beautiful uh, Royal Paladin card. Maiden of Musketeer. Uh, the, this is the Gear Chronicle right chain. I don't know why Bushiroad give Gear Chronicle a right chain. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, we have one of the. This is the uh, Alfred uh, support. Uh, when you when you pay the cost for stride, she gains one grade. So she's a great tool when you paying the cost for stride. And we have uh, Ote or Odate or something, I don't know how to pronounce her name. She's very good in the Asha deck. Uh, Bloom, uh, when this unit blooms, choose two, up to two units and they get 4k. That's it. Very nice. Oh yeah, and, your, and you must have a... If your Vanguard is a Ranunculus in the card name. So yeah, very nice uh, card to have. And uh, GB1. Uh, return her back to your hand and if if you at the beginning of the main phase i mean uh, you you may return her, her back to your hand and if you do um you choose a normal unit from your drop zone and return back to the bottom of your deck yeah something like that so she's a good utility to have in your asha deck i play four of her in my deck because she is so good to have Alright, we have no point there. What's the point of that? Um, Gear Chronicle. Uh, we have a new uh, Musketeer heal, which is good. Uh, one of those right chain. We have the return of the weapon dealer. Uh, we have this guy. I don't think people play this guy in their offer deck. And next we have Paula. Paula is pretty okay. I played her when this set came out but I switched her out for uh, I don't know like Noel or Xiao in GPT-12 uh, her skill is Bloom uh, when this unit blooms uh, GB1 uh, this unit gets the skill uh, under, under the end of turn this unit gets the skill when this unit attacks if you have a Ranunculus Vanguard uh, she gets 10k until the end of the battle so it's like if you manage to bloom her like three times she, when, then when she attacks she becomes a 39 power which is pretty pretty high so yeah she was good was good but now it's like man if you want to play her go ahead you know few more packs to go and we got no point uh musketeer on hit draw uh, Royal Paladin stuff, Musketeer Crit, uh, Gear Chronicle. He he I nearly say healed, but it's a draw, a very cute draw. But uh, by that, uh, a very very cute heal for Royal Paladin. Uh, we have the Violist, Starlight Violinist. Starlight Violinist is pretty good actually. Uh, when this is placed on the Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, kind of plus one or so plus one, and you. I think you can call a unit to a separate rear. So when you when this is called, corner plus one, so plus one, call another one of something, I think. Yeah. So Starlight Violinist is, is quite good. 
before but now people i don't think people will play starlight playlist anymore and next we got the g guardian for uh gear chronicle alim i don't know the skill don't ask me i don't play gear chronicle but still i don't think people play her anymore but meh i just put her one side here We got no point for this and we have a uh, musketeer great tree don't even bother playing this i don't know why were you is this even musketeer i don't think so um cute 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 handsome wowie uh musketeer draw uh we have a big hammer guy from monster hunter so Egg ability, soul blast one, something happens, I don't play Alfred. No, this is actually for Brave, I think. Ah, I think this is the Brave support. And next we get uh, Unflipper PG, reprinted actually. You can see right here is reprint 08, reprint. Uh, this is the uh, perfect guard counter charge for Neo Nectar, uh, Maiden of Passion Flower. Yeah. It, not bad, I kinda like this. It has that triple rare foiling also compared to the uh, old version which is a uh, double rare. Yeah, Maiden of Passion Flower. Nice, it's a nice thing to have. Very very shiny. I will gladly keep this and this rest to the trash pile. Alright, do we have a point? We do not have a point. Greenshot Elf. Um, guy from Royal Paladin, Gear Chronicle, Gear Cat, uh, Skion Rider. I remember the name now. Um, this guy, I don't think people play him. And another PG for New Nectar, but this PG is a good PG actually. Uh, this PG is um, when when you PG, no, you PG first, then after then when 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 you're done paying the cost for the skill uh, you can look top five of your deck uh, search for one bloom unit and put it reveal to your opponent and put it to your hand so this is kind of this is actually very good because this can combo well with the uh, bloom pg which which uh, when you know when the unit blooms counter blast one return all of that pg back to your hand that kind and this guy can look top 5, search for one bloom unit and since your PG is a bloom of also have a bloom skill, you can put that one to your hand so you have another PG to PG with. So yeah, it's, it's, kind of, it's pretty good but I don't think people play this PG anymore, I don't think so, yeah. This is our last pack for the day. No GR so far, no SP so far, but the pool so far, I, I actually, I, I dig it. I dig the, the pools. The pools are kind of nice. Uh, we got guy, hope song angel, guy, a uh, cute, stand trigger for warrior, handsome musketeer. The one, the one half of the other uh, Alfred uh, support thing, and finally we get ah the, the new uh, pseudo strike folder for Musketeer. Uh, this this kind of strike folder has become a thing where at the uh, before your right face uh, GB one, you may retire her, and if you do, uh, you can strike without paying the cost. So. If you manage to have her on your field for long, you can just retire her to strike. So she's she's like a pseudo strike folder. It's a good addition for Musketeer because Musketeer, because Musketeer always calls and calls and calls. So you can call her during your turn, uh, let her survive, and there you go. And that's about it for the uh, unboxing. Yeah. Alrighty. Time to uh, go through our pools for the day. Uh, we have the uh, PG, the Neonectar PG, 
where you can look top 5 for a bloom unit uh, our double rare we have this guy from royal paladin uh art mal support and yeah it's a double rare i don't i forgot the skill you can go check out our that profile on art mal to know his skill better and how he combos uh, our next double rare is alum as a g guardian something happens she gets 15k shield i don't know what happens what you have to do to get that 15k shield i don't think anybody play this anymore so too bad we have my list the musketeer the new musketeer strike uh not bad definitely definitely needed for musketeer so i would guess our double rare our reprint we have maiden of passion flower uh, nice reprint to have she's uh she's the uh, new nectar uh, pg counter charger uh, always nice to have for our triple rare we have alfred oath which is a uh, uh, a good card uh, not really that good as in the skill i mean there's there are better cards out there but this is highly sought after uh nice card to have a nice triple rare and lastly if you have this gear chronicle yeah i don't even know what it does i don't think anybody, anybody played this one anymore so that will do for the unboxing of uh, Tri Tree Next. It's not the best pool, I would say. Amaterasu, you betrayed me. How dare you? But it's okay. I still love you. Um, yeah, you even though you didn't bring the fortune upon us, but still, it's not bad. There, there are some I can live with. Uh, if you do like this unboxing, do leave a like. Uh, comment and do subscribe and i will see you guys next time for another unboxing um, or a video i guess maybe a video where amaterasu can give us you know a good fortune S see you guys next time